I am from Kerala too, and my, Sri Lishmi was my friend nearly five years, right? I never changed her. Like I never said I am a Muslim woman, okay. and I never changed. You her. did not do any yeah. love jihad. She yes. didn't do any love jihad. I never changed. We have been friends uh, really since eighth yeah. standard, and uh, caste or religion is not a topic in our conversation. Why is he contesting against a national leader like Ani Raja, who sh- who took all the courage to go to all the places, including Manipur, or who stood with all the uh, Christian women who have been attacked? Communist Party um, often goes to the. Um, Communist ideas, rather than Indian values. Uh, there's a BJP guest, a CPM guest, a Congress guest, and me. And it's a CPM and the Congress guys who are fighting. And the BJP guys just having fun watching these guys fighting on electoral bonds. CPM wholly opposed the uh, Muslim League as, and they considered and they uh, blacklisted Muslim League as a communal party. So From the of, beginning of this, of this conversation, uh, you attacking less okay, for BJP regime and attacking Congress and Rahul Gandhi. You keep attacking Rahul Gandhi and it's Congress. It's not attacking, so, man. So it's the, not attacking. So it's when we stating. defend, it's when, stating. When, yeah, when we it's when stating. we defend it's our point, when it's we defend our truth, point, we you, 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 you. Okay, okay, wait, wait, wait. We can't do a public style TV debate because no one will be able to understand. Because Manisha is very against TV debate. Yeah. And guys, this is not about criticizing yes, yes. each other's public yeah. style. No, no, I would, would like to come. Yeah. coming to that. Welcome to another election show. I'm in Kochi with Dhanya Rajendran of the News Minute. And together we are at Maharaja's College, which is one of India's oldest colleges. It was founded in the 1800s, 1875, right? Yeah. Okay. And has a very illustrious alumni, Mamuti, A.K. Antony, uh, Mary Vergis. So mathematicians, physicians, authors, politicians, of course. Anyone I'm important I'm missing? I think Viola Ravi, uh, P.T. Thomas, uh, uh, Thomas, Thomas Isaac, uh, Mercy uh, Ravi. Sorry? Kiar Gauri. Kiar Gauri. Oh, Gauri. Okay. And, so, so uh, many. The first woman constituent member, Dalit a woman constituent member, co- member of the Constitutional Assembly is from this college. Shaini Vela, Vela then. Okay. So, as you can see. But yeah. I like how you mentioned Mamuti first. Yes, because he's <laughs> <laughs> most recognizable face for me. <laughs> okay. So, yeah. So, we are here and we're going to be talking to students here about politics, about elections. Kerala goes to vote in the second phase. Now, something very interesting about Kerala and we'll come to Dhanya about it quickly before we go to the students. Nationally, this election is about NDA led by Modi versus the India Alliance. In Kerala, it's a very different story. Kerala has got three fronts. Mm. Basically, the LDA for the Left Democratic Front, which is led by the CPIM. The UDF or the United Democratic Front, which is led by the Congress and the NDA by the BJP. But the primary opponents in most constituencies in Kerala are still the UDF and the LDF. Yeah. So the CPIM, CPI and the Congress, which are friends nationally, are enemies locally. Therefore, you have a Pinarayi Vijayan attacking a Rahul Gandhi, a Rahul Gandhi retaliating. Yeah. I, I mean, when and I, it's very bitter. It's very bitter. So when, when you're here, you realize how bitter it is. So <laughs> the fun part is due to the electoral bond coverage. I had gone on several Malayalam channels as a guest. And I realized that uh, there's a BJP guest, a CPM guest, a Congress guest in me. And it's a CPM and the Congress guys who are fighting. And the BJP guys just having fun watching these guys fighting on electoral bonds. <laughs> so we are going to quickly talk to students. Uh, uh, one disclaimer, uh, the students here are all affiliated with political parties. The main uh, political party here is SFI in this college. Uh, it's pretty much an SFI bastion, uh, which is the student body of CPIM. And then we have students from KSU. Kerala Students Union, which is a student body of the Congress. So it's left versus Congress here. But we're not going to get too much into left versus Congress. And we're sitting in the middle. And we're sitting in the middle as moderators. We could not get anyone from the ABVP because ABVP does not have a strong presence in this particular college. We tried, but uh, this really is a sort of a left bastion, so no ABVP. Uh, So before we get into politics and all that, I just want to have young people here. And we're going to be voting next week. On for Lok Sabha choosing your parliamentarians, I want to ask you guys what are the main issues for you this election when you think nationally? For the previous year, only taking the previous year, we can see uh, the Manipur uh, revolt or uh, raids, and mm. uh, we can see a uh, uh, people, a uh, society, a uh, group of men, uh, rolling women uh, nakedly uh, in the road. Mm. Mm. So we are living in 2023 and 24, and we are seeing such things in 
India right now. So we need a change. other option, a change okay. from India, from BJP, from RSS. They are creating this into a Hindu politics in Hindu country. Mm -hmm. uh, so we want we want to change that. So interesting, Manipur is an issue here, though you don't get to hear about that, uh, you know, in many parts of the country. But as a young students' union uh, member, also on a youth, Manipur comes out as an issue to India. Basically, when we are uh, a small uh, child, when we are studying at UKG and LKG, first thing we always study is that India is a democratic country or India is uh, fulfilled with the uh, uh, colors and cultures. But now it's not like that. Why I vote for uh, left is primarily because there is no other uh, political organization or party which is voicing, uh, voicing against the rising Islamophobia is rising Dalit phobia, increasing Brahmanical patriarchy, increasing casteism, increasing ableist ideology, and there is no particular uh, political party in the country so far which is raising for the importance of education, importance of secularism, up, up, upholding the value of constitutional morality, and upholding the value of humanity in general. But Congress has made, uh, you know, especially with Rahul Gandhi leading, uh, you know, the front for Congress, they've spoken a lot about secularism why we need to preserve democracy so do you think left is the only party because the center you have can you can you show me one sentence in the uh, in the election uh, manifesto by the uh, udf or the congress which is talking against the ca nrc on nrp there is there is and show me the level of secularism that the rahul gandhi it, uh, himself in the constitution in, in, in his own constitution uh, talking about not to raise the uh, IUML flag. So show me the level of uh, secularism that mm. this particular person, Mr. Rahul Gandhi, is showing. And one question that I would like to ask when you talk about, I, I particularly, I mean, I, I do understand that this is not the forum to talk against Congress because Congress being one among the alliance in India. or yeah, one among friends here. And I mean, uh, you guys are friends uh, at the center, sorry. Yes, of course. And because, even in Tamil Nadu. Yes, everywhere. <laughs> it should be because now, uh, in this particular election, at least Congress is not the major opponent. Mm. The major opponent is the fascist regime that has been ruling the country since the past 10 years. That is the RSS or the BJP, which is led by Mr. Narendra Modi. But at this point of time, as you pose this question, uh, why I chose is one, one particular integrity that this particular do not have is um, CPI is a major uh, alliance in uh, India and the leader herself, Annie Raja, has been contesting in Mm, uh, why not? Yes. What is the political integrity that this particular has uh, person has got to fight against Ani Raja? Uh, why is he contesting against a national leader like Ani Raja, who sh who took all the courage to go to all the places, including Manipur, or who stood with all the uh, Christian women who have been attacked? So this particular person, like Ani Raja's voice, should be heard in the parliament. Okay. That is the one okay. thing. And second thing, uh, why? The major question itself is what what will be the insecurity that these particular people like Muslims who in this country were increasing uh, Islamophobia or the system itself is voicing against Muslim community will be having when they are being not told not to raise the uh, green flag or the IUML flag. So he's talking about uh, uh, the alliances rally here, the LDF is sorry, the UDF, UDF. Yeah. Congress. And IUML is one of their alliance members. And in the rally in Vyanad, they were not raising their own flags. They were, they were kind of asked not to raise the flag. Because last time they raised the flags, uh, that was used as a lot of disinformation to say that Pakistan flags, flags were right. raised. Why do you think, uh, if communalism is an issue today, why do you think the Congress is best poised to fight it and not the left? India has a political idea created by the Congress oh. in the um, movement, through the movement. So, the best in India, the Congress party is the only party that uh, recognizes this uh, India as a, India's values and India's history, India's uh, movement, mm. India's national leaders, heritage. India is the only party that recognizes. The other parties, uh, communist party, um, often goes to the um, communist ideas rather than Indian values. And the BJP, of course, Hindu agenda. Hinduist agenda. Any, so because any, they're the founding fathers, they played a part in the freedom movement, foundation yeah. of the country, you trust yeah. their idea of India. <laughs> Quickly, maybe we should ask them, who's your favorite uh, Congress leader, uh, nationally or locally? Jawaharlal Nehru, now okay. Rahul yeah. Gandhi. 
the primary concerns that i'm facing is currently uh, as he said it's um, unemployment okay. obviously and uh, bjp is uh, directly saying that we are standing for the communal politics and that is also one of the main concerns that i'm like uh, i'm i'm very concerned about uh, when communal. i'm facing this election uh, obviously uh, congress uh, ruled this country for a long period and uh, bjp is uh, saying that congress hasn't done anything for the country except that they had done some corruption and made money big, mm. made their pockets big and all mm. but uh, i could uh, clearly reject that uh, if you could consider the the uh, institutions that you sold and you privatized during the uh, your period uh, you could uh, you could analyze and you could uh, draw out the uh, developments that congress built to this country uh, so that's my point and uh, where is your constituency uh, Chalakudi constituency. Oh, sure. Okay. Oh, great. Election are always about the development of state and social justice, mm -hmm. uh, different uh, political ideologies. But this is election about the uh, religious extremism and radical thinkings in this totally secular state. But uh, this is elections or the government focusing on the religious states and Hindu ta manusmudi. So clearly, Danya, what we can get from both the sides is that. Hindutva is a concern, communalism is a concern. Uh, the only difference is they don't agree on who can fight it best. Yes, hmm. and I don't think that's something that they'll ever ever agree upon. Uh, I think you wanted to reply to some of the stuff that he was uh, raising on uh, Rahul Gandhi. You want to do it now, a little later? Okay, let's talk about Rahul Gandhi a little bit because yeah. we have two people from Vyanad also who can yeah. tell us. Yeah, actually three. Of... She's also you're also from Vyanad, right? So you, you can tell us his performance as an MP. What do you think? Basically, uh, considering the developments and uh, policies put forward uh, for by Rahul Gandhi in the constituency of Vyanad, uh, we can say that he's fairly a good MP. He has been a good MP, and uh, for, like considering the fact that he is the most important uh, leader in the opposition uh, regime, uh, so we could say that he's a good MP. Uh, the rest of it uh, should be decided by the people and uh, voting voters of Vyanad constituency. We cannot say that uh, we are. Like uh, we are not part of that uh, constituency, so we are not uh, able to judge these developments by uh, you know. Okay. Uh, coming to the reply, uh, like what he said, uh, the issues related to uh, flag, green flag, and Muslim League in Vyanad. Uh, I I would like to rem remind my friend that uh, the same party, like CPIM, C uh, CPIM, uh, wholly opposed the uh, Muslim League as, and they considered and they uh, blacklisted Mu Muslim League as a communal party. So, if, uh, like uh, in the past, we could see uh, references made by like uh, against uh, Abdul Rabb, the ex uh, educational minister of uh, the state. Uh, we could see CPM opposing the league, and uh, they are uh, they are claiming they are claiming that Muslim League is a communal party alongside BJP. They even categorize Muslim League as a uh, like a Muslim uh, majority uh, extremist party in many situations. Uh, we could see that references in the past. So uh, now they have been ha showing that affection. They have been showing that affection towards Muslim League because they are very insecure about the next upcoming uh, state assembly elections, and they want to they want to increase the uh, Muslim vote percentage. So coming to the reply uh, regarding the issue of the flag, uh, like yes, Muslim League flag was not hoisted, like our Muslim League flag was not exhibited in the uh, rally uh, uh, rally supporting Rahul Gandhi. But it's because, not a concern. Ah, uh, but it is a concern. Uh, it is a concern if there was any other flags raised in that program. That rally was not a program which uh, exhibited or uh, portrayed any other flags because that rally was an anti-flag uh, rally because uh, the party decided UDF committee decided that there shouldn't be any flags because that is a that is not the policy of that. Kali Gau, that's my native place, and I had seen him there before. Uh, not for an election work, he has come to schools nearby that uh, there, and he visit the schools and he check out the. how the education system and he just talk to people i think uh, as a member of parliament he should be available here he should be available for the people of here of uh, vyanad constituency that's not happening uh, like he have been visited here he have been visited uh, in the past 5 uh, years he have been visited here particularly saying uh, less than 20 times less than 20 times mp have visited our constituency and at, at the same time uh, he is not at the parliament so mm -hmm. between in between parliament and in between uh, his constituency where how uh, he been that's a question he has yeah. asked 99 questions uh, he has participated in eight debates and he has 51% exactly. attendance okay. so she's right uh, on can me. i can i interrupt who is the leader who disqualified 6 months for asking questions in the parliament 
who is the national leader who disqualified by this Modi government for six more than six months for asking questions in the parliament? So that so, there will be a question: How many ses parliamentary sessions have been conducted? How many par parliamentary sessions might have been conducted in that six months? The question is: um, my, Your question is very much clear, yeah. friend, and I have understood the question. Yeah. And my answer to that is: mm. How many uh, parliamentary sessions might have been conducted? And what was this particular person called Rahul Gandhi has been doing in the rest of? Four and si four years and six months. Mm. No, that, that is a basic question that I would like so to. So you are answering and again, that. I, and again, I would like to reiterate that this shouldn't be a fight against uh, um, uh, Congress or UDF and uh, CPM or LDF, but this should be a basic integrity to have a common mm. uh, voice against uh, fascist regime, which has been deteriorating the constitutional morality and the entire sense mm -hmm. of India. So, I, I, here, I no, don't no, understand. No, no, I, I from, from, okay. from, the, from the beginning of this constitution, you are attacking Congress. And now, I, now I we, we that there was questions. a question you, about you we, there was we a question. ask questions against the uh, fascist regime, not to uh, your um, questions. Yeah, the, the, what, what? The, there was a statement of mine because there was a question from that kind. So, again, I don't understand. See, I don't understand why this there has been a um, sudden shift of discussion uh, of that. No, 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 no. Just, just a minute, just a minute, just a minute. You are, you are questioning, the, you are the, you are questioning you the performance of Rahul Gandhi. You are questioning the performance of Rahul Gandhi. So we put the for, for that he was a disqualified MP from the parliament. Okay, six months. I think but, only for six months. But they're right that the, his, uh, that they're right. Now he's doing a lot of other things for the party because he's heading it. I mean, he's semi-heading it. But his attendance has been below average even otherwise. No, but I, I think we yeah. can sum up the politics of Kerala for people who are watching because I also come from the state. We have very, we have strong proponents mm. of communism of the Congress party who are very, who can <laughs> fight like cats and dogs when it comes to their parties. But at the end of the day, they realize that the bigger problem mm. is the BJP and fascism. Yes, Would yes. you say yes? We are, we are saying exactly. Yes, that's for them. Yes. But, but, that's one but the problem here, yeah. from the beginning of the constitution, you attacking less. Constitution. Of from the, the of, beginning of this, of this conversation, con you attacking less for BJP regime and attacking Congress and Rahul Gandhi. You keep attacking Rahul Gandhi and it's Congress. It's not attacking, so, man. So it's the, not attacking. So it's when we stating. Defend, it's when, stating. Yeah, when we, it's when stating. we defend it's our point, when we defend our point, we can't do a republic style TV debate because no one will be able Because Manisha is very against TV yeah. debates. You should watch her show so where she's against TV debates. It's not by blindly things. believing that Congress will do things. Congress will do things. Who okay. done you things? Should, who you done should, things? You, you, you should you prove. Done things. Guys, you are party speaks, done things in, in India. Who done things? Okay, now we stop. <laughs> we change the conversation because clearly it's very heated between the Congress and the CPIM here. And that's really the and local news in, flavor. News and watchers should understand that yeah. for and five minutes Manisha became like a TV anchor. <laughs> became like a TV anchor and now yeah. Uh, yeah, people can cut this clip yeah. and say what well, no, noise it is. We got, we got, we got, we got, but we got the point. We yes. got the point. And this also tells people outside of Kerala that how bitterly contested it is between the two central parties here. And while they agree on the common agenda of defeating BJP, there is not much common ground that they can come on. I want to shift the conversation from politics to culture. Mm. Now, uh, in... Uh, the last one or two years, we have seen Kerala come up in national discourse quite a bit mm. and not always very favorably, right? Mm. One big thing was this Kerala story movie, mm. which Modi said you should watch. Mm. They were saying DD should show it. Mm. There's a kind of sentiment because the Kerala, you Kerala as a state, uh, BJP is not strong here. And I think that's also true for Punjab. Both these states have faced a lot of animosity in public discourse that Punjab, they, they said Khalistani, they're terrorists. And Kerala, it's like, you know, everyone's an ISIS operator. That's the kind of sense, you know, we're getting when we look at, you know, news in Delhi. What do you guys think of this whole propaganda against Kerala? Kerala story basically saying is the very much false information a person or a community or an organization could give through a social media. Hmm. Actually, it's not Kerala. First thing you should understand, uh, we should understand, it's not Kerala. Kerala is a uh, state. Kerala is really a state of hope. What would you say, like, you know, when people say women are not safe in Kerala, Hindu women are not safe in Kerala. Would you want to just quickly respond to that? Because you're I'm a, a Hindu woman. Yeah. I'm basically a Hindu woman. Huh? I don't feel, 
I don't exactly don't feel I'm not safe in Kerala. I'm safe in Kerala. I'm safe. In, uh, I'm safe in Kerala, particularly in Kerala. I don't feel like I'm not safe in here. Uh, I think I have uh, gained every right. Uh, I have to do my uh, responsibilities. Yeah. I'm perfectly okay in Kerala. Mm. Uh, so uh, so you're fine. No one needs to yeah, worry. Yeah, let's ask her also. What do you think okay. about the movie? And I'm from Kerala too. And my, Sri Lishmi was my friend nearly five years. Right? I never changed her. Like I never said I am a Muslim woman okay. and I never changed you her. You did not do any yeah. love jihad. She didn't do any love jihad. I, I no, never no. changed. We have been friends uh, really since eighth yeah. standard and uh, we never yeah. talk. Caste or religion is not a topic in our conversations. Yes, okay. of course. We are human Let's, beings. We have our own belief. We we do our own uh, customs and we never uh, like never change other people. If they are willing to change their their they can. But we never uh, change their customs or belief because uh, we study that our uh, culture is like that. Like we are from, uh, and uh, I'm from a Malapram, which is so orthodox place. Mm. And uh, okay, yeah, yeah, and that place is most of the community is Muslim community, and she is also from that community, right? And she uh, she's never judged for she is believing that uh, in that. Uh, Really, so, so one thread in the Kerala story is also about that group of women who study in the college, and mm. it is first the radicalization starts from the women itself, right? Mm. The men later join. What, what do you think about uh, uh, all the stuff that people like? For example, I primarily cover Karnataka, so I see uh, during the Karnataka elections, Narendra Modi himself had asked people to watch the Kerala story, right? Mm. And there is conversation uh, that. Uh, especially in Bangalore belt, you can see the tension, right? When Kerala students go, they are targeted sometimes by many by BJP politicians, not by local people. But what do you guys think of these conversations about Kerala outside? Hmm. So there has been uh, discussions beyond, um, not limiting to the uh, Somalia or Kerala story. I can trace example of a Delhi University professor's tweet hmm. when the entire sociology department PG students were from Kerala. Twenty students were from Kerala, and that particular professor who is supposed to teach sociology yeah. has tweeted that there is mark jihad in Kerala. Yeah, yeah. Mark are, jihad meaning mark jihad. The, the students of those tw twenty students were from Kerala, and they were given ten percentage or more than ninety oh, ninety eight percentage of marks yeah, in the that. prime university. Marks called, jihad. Yeah, marks jihad. Mark That's Jihad, mean. yeah, mm. that was a great tweet mm. by a professor. That is a atrocity that a particular academician can do. Okay. So that is the ideology that uh, everybody, I guess, uh, who are uh, aligning to right wing in, uh, outside Kerala will be having. And so I just want, sorry, just to cut you. Like when you go outside Kerala, do you feel sentiments changing towards yes, you because yes, you're yes. from Kerala? Do you feel that, or do yeah, you think in, it's not? Everyone doesn't kind of. I studied it. in a uh, central university in my UG and PG. I'm not naming the university. And after that, I joined uh, in a national institute for some days, and I was called Madrasi. I okay, was called that's, Madrasi. Oh, that is a that old is a, problem. Yes, not but that right. that. That sentiments cannot be, you know, hmm. considered a simple or easy going for a person like me. Yeah, yeah. Who is But does it become more complicated? I'm because that is, that Kerala. is increasing. Yes, yeah. that is increasing. Yeah. I don't think any Tamilian will be called uh, Madrasi. I don't know. But I, I, there was a scholar of that uh, in that department uh, who have joined with me, but he was not called because he was having the right wing sentiments. Hmm. Those people who are having against, against sentiments against the sentiment of a person who is from any place, uh, they will be attacked in any name. Hmm. They they might be attacked the way they uh, uh, the way they express themselves the dress they wear or the ideology they have or the topic they have for research if it is an education institution and these sentiments are there you can see uh, uh, the atrocity that this particular person who is contesting for NDA in Tiruvannamalai raised when a church was not attacked by any group rather by a single person when there was a bomb blast in Idapalli church and what was this particular person uh, who is, uh, who is Ra Ra Rajiv Chandrasekhar who was then a central minister who is contesting in Trivandrum what, what was the, what was the uh, anti-secular statement that he has given so this is the sentiment that every will be everyone will be having and I would say the agent themselves is from Kerala who is the NDA readers so that is the, they are the agents of hatred against Kerala the sentiment which movies like Kerala story whip up it's not just people from Kerala it's specifically also targeting Muslims in Kerala mm. so as personally how do you feel about that Kerala story they actually claim that it is based on a true story 
and uh, the incident behind Kerala story is just fake like uh, the Modi's degree certificate. <laughs> so uh, Kerala story is claiming that uh, in Kerala it is uh, communal politics uh, that is uh, not different from other like uh, co converting countries like uh, Gulf, uh, no, uh, Muslim majority countries. So uh, it is actually uh, because they don't know what it is in uh, what it is to be live in Kerala. Uh, it is the same reason that they are not getting any seats or any uh, success mm -hmm. in uh, uh, electoral politics uh, in Kerala. So uh, it's like for BJP, uh, Kerala has been like uh, in Malayalam there is a uh, proverb, "Kitta uh, mundiri pulikum." It's uh, like grapes uh, are sour. Yeah, the grapes that you cannot get. So uh, it's like "Kitta uh, mundiri" for BJP, and <laughs> they'll all or they'll also or they'll always always say like that. Uh, but I they, think he he made an interesting point about <laughs> Rajesh Chandra Shekhar. That some of the stuff which is uh, which is communal and which sort of is against Kerala is made by NDA leaders from Kerala itself. It is not made by uh, uh, Yogi Adityanath who said uh, let's not become like Kerala. Right? Yeah, correcting him. Uh, it is not the Adapalli bomb blast. It is the a Kalamashiri bomb, bomb blast, yeah. and uh, it is very near uh, place from me. Uh, we were all concerned about the bomb blast because we were concerned about the lives that uh, were killed or uh, injured in the bomb blast. And the BJP leaders was co were concerned about the politics behind that. They were uh, expecting an outcome that would help them win the politi uh, election in the uh, upcoming scenarios. So BJP leaders, uh, recently the uh, state head of the BJP, K. Surendra, made a remark on the Sultan Bateri. Yeah. And as we all know, yes, uh, I, I could agree with that because BJP leaders are the uh, people who are spreading uh, lies against Kerala. Kerala. They say that Kerala is not developed. Uh, the developed, most developed place in uh, India is UP. And when we travel to so UP, Kerala could... BJP leaders say that. Yeah, of, yeah obviously. Kerala. No, so just to put in context, what he's talking about is a blast which happened in Kalamashiri. It was inside a Jehovah Witness uh, hall. So because they are they are considered Christians, they are considered. No, they are not. Immediately the thing was it is to do with Israel and Palestine, and there must have been some Muslim group behind the attack. But eventually it was a Jehovah's Witness rebel. Mm, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The place. So, big, yeah, yeah, even the local leaders of the BJP commented that the owner of the convention center was a Muslim and he is the <laughs> cause of that blast. Uh, they even said that and uh, they have a case registered in their names, uh, which eventually we don't know what happened. So, uh, it's it's true that Kerala BJP leaders are some kind of special genes because they are, no, they are not knowing what they are doing. They are trying to establish the politics of the uh, like uh, the places where BJP is having a dominance, and uh, they are trying to make a fool out of themselves. So uh, we are not to comment on BJP because considering the politics of Kerala, BJP is nothing but uh, clowns. If they try to understand and study the politics of Kerala, they might even they find success. Chance. But are, are they you giving them suggestions? No, mm -hmm. I don't give them suggestions. Okay. I don't give one want BJP. For them. What <laughs> they should do? Uh, yeah. I think they should quit the politics and just <laughs> move to some uh, communal uh, institution or something. Like that, the viewers should make opinion. The technology is developed; they they can fact find themselves. Okay. So we don't uh, we don't every citizen citizen journalism is citizen journalism is the main thing developed in this era, and everyone can um, Google facts. Google facts, hmm. <laughs> no facts. So when the Kerala story, everyone should watch it. That's what I'm saying, hmm. and make uh, opinions about how BJP is creating communism through propaganda films. So that everyone should watch. You are saying everyone should watch it and come to your own conclusion yeah. and realize what the propaganda of the is behind it. I want to say something to BJP that you should watch recent uh, news in Kerala and uh, that is the real Kerala story that Kerala has collected 32 crores for Rahim to uh, uh, to uh, as a part of blood uh, money no uh, no that money has collected for it's, it's a part of blood money basically blood you have to pay the family yeah. People, yeah. Yeah. No. so this is a man uh, who was uh, who was convicted in a murder yeah. so in the in the arab countries you have to pay, basically pay blood money to the family and if the family uh, asks for a certain amount if you pay that and give then the person is released so there was a crowdfunding and i think 34 crores yeah. were collected uh, mm. Uh, from people, people. yeah, to get yeah. him out yeah. of jail, okay. yeah, in Saudi Arabia, yeah. Okay. So that is what the real Kerala story is. So my quick question to all of you is that, like, but was, was he convicted of like was it of murder? Money? Yeah, but uh, they say it's an accidental murder. There are a lot of okay. cases like that, right? Okay. My last question to you is: I was also a student politician. Mm. Uh, I, what I want to ask is that sometimes uh, when you are into politics as students, right, in campuses, you basically also behave like senior politicians and cannot discern between the good and bad within your own 
party or political system do you think so or do you criticize your own party do you think that is very important when you are growing up as student politicians of course there will be criticizing uh, inside the party uh, but for um, us it's about the <coughs> decision we took take together it's about the decision we take together we are a democratic party and we have set morals that our leaders are publicly commenting on uh, the policies against our party so we could say that <laughs> our, our party leaders are That's obvious a problem with the congress but your yeah. leaders are also going to the bjp a lot it's a democratic party but you're so but... democratic that everybody's going to the bjp now a lot of congress leaders no 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 it's not like not that not kerala like that <laughs> yes everyone have a opinion about their party and the last opinion that matters is the pinarayi vijayan's opinion <laughs> so that last that's the whole problem of facing their party the young people's opinion is never a concern about the party and the last opinion that matters is the pinarayi vijayan's party pinarayi vijayan's opinion mm. so he keep changing uh, their party constitution like um, putin changing their constitution so the politburo member can uh, become uh, chief minister again and again by changing their const- their party constitution So just like Russia's Putin. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So can just I, a moment. Can just a moment. Can I make a point? Just can I make a point? Yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. So and guys, this is not about criticizing yes, yes. each other. Yeah. yeah. No, no. I would like to come. I'm, I'm coming to that. I'm coming to that. Question. You were yes, you were yes, talking yeah. about criticism within the party. Within and the recently, party. recently on uh, even the Kerala files, uh, there was a remark made by Chandi Uman, uh, the MLA of Congress Party, and the party and the party and the political organization, students' organization of the state itself, made statements that they are not yet to comment on that incident. because it is not their responsibility to uh, comment on incidents which are made like uh, they are not uh, in order to support or against uh, mm-hmm. that thing because uh, it it is able to, like uh, we are able to uh, watch or uh, we are able to uh, exhibit what kind of things uh, we can make in this country that is the uh, freedom of expression and freedom of like uh, making Uh, that is uh, present in this country but uh, when he made chandiman made that comment the party was there to uh, comment against it and party what was made uh, this, uh, this i'm not aware of what chandiman said? said that uh, oh. the uh, the kerala story movie was screened in uh, idki roopatha yes. right idki roopatha and mr oh, chandiman said that it is up to them whether to decide that is i would like to call it as without have, uh, claiming or uh, state, stating something without having a political stand but this particular mla uh, uh, said that it is up to them whether to decide to screen so it or not the diocese had uh, screened the kerala yes, story and the party the... had uh, no, currently working so president so he directly endorsed it saying that okay, okay that's their let choice let them do it so let them do it he saying the congress itself criticized it criticized, criticized, criticized it yes, yeah the that's point my point yeah. i would i am a uh, strict opponent of leaving uh, a political party for social audit after an extent and i would strongly say that any nobody who is into the lime, limelight is not uh, to be socially audited or their statement is should should be corrected by the society but at this point of time where uh, the uh, there is a huge paradigm shift in uh, society towards right wing i would say parties like who are always victimized like congress or cpim or cpi or dmk or um, uh, any kind should not be socially audited because that social audit will result in uh leaving of uh, leaving uh, from the political party to the right wing there is okay. there are n number of examples of that kind but uh, parties like us are having several heads like cpim which is the main party we call it it podu prasthanam and uh, then we have idwa or sfi or dy for n kind for instance when mm mani uh, former minister and current mla stated something very, very casteist and uh, patriarchal the idwa all india democratic women's association commented against that Mm-hmm. or there are n number of examples of that kind when dyfi or sfi does something against the society or uh, does some mistakes that the the main party will comment it so there are examples of that kind idwa has come up with a main statement against mm money n number of time mm-hmm. so there there, so are, there are different correct- wings within the party system uh, yes. i would of course disagree with the with what you said that other parties should not be socially audited as much because he is saying if you socially audit the liberal progressive parties all the time you are basically Ours is not giving a liberal party uh, whatever as in the <laughs> liberal or progressive party basically you are allowing the bjp to grow but the point is if you do not socially audit them the path to fascism is easy for them also yeah yes. everyone needs yeah, to be yes, questioned yeah, that's the everyone needs yeah, to be socially audited so yeah so on that note we're going to wrap this debate up it got a little heated but i think it gave you a sense of what 
politics is in Kerala and how Lok Sabha is very unique here. The elections here are going to be very unique. We're going to be covering this for the next five days. Uh, we're going to go in to Wayanad in the heat. We're going to go to Wayanad, of course, and see if it's as heated between the two parties as it was here. Thank you for staying with us. Uh, please remember that at News Laundry and News Minute, this election coverage is completely non-sponsored, ad-free. We don't have any advertisements from any political parties. We are only relying on you guys to support our journalism so we can travel, bring you stories, bring you discussions, hopefully bring you out of your echo chambers, bring you out of your preconceived notions about different states and politics in different states so you can see how different it is everywhere. So support our election coverage. We've actually got around six to seven topics that we are pursuing this election. This debate is also because we Young India is one of the topics they're pursuing. So you can go check out the News Laundry's election page. You can contribute to any fund you want. Remember, you power our journalism. Yes. And if you pay, we'll be able to give you free and fair coverage up until the Lok Sabha elections. Thank you so much for staying with us and stay tuned for more shows coming up from Kerala. This election season, your right to choose puts you at the heart of it again. We'd like to be your eyes and ears. Choose the journalism and media that serves democracy and you. Simply log on to newslaundry.com 2024 election fund and choose an amount of your choice for the reports of your choice.